Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm using this um, really cute, let me just show you guys. This little holder here, which is really, really cute. I got it off of Amazon and I'm using it to hold my phone as I record. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll leave the link down below in the description box. So today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some Bath & Body Works products that I picked up. So. As you guys know, we are in fall and I love fall. So I got some fall scents and some other stuff in here, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got at Bath & Body Works. You guys, this is like a collective haul because I actually have more stuff to show you guys, but that will be in a different video. I separated candles from body care. So this is body care, okay? I have this bag and a box over here to share with you guys, but I'm going to actually go in, I should go in the box first because you know what, that was the first order and then I went into the store to buy the rest of this stuff, actually trading some old fragrances that I had that I did not want and switched them out to some new ones. So first things first, you guys, for this order, oh man, I forgot what was the sale. <laughs> I know I used some of my coupons and stuff like that and my rewards for this. So this purchase, I had bought something and then they had like um, a set. It was the Midnight Amber Glow set. You get it for free and that's exactly what I did. But anyway, let's get into the box. So the first thing I'm going to pull up and I'm always going to talk about first, which I absolutely love and I'm going to stock up like crazy. I already have like three of them. This is my third one. I'm going to get like maybe like four or five of, you already know, fairy tale. This is my favorite fragrance. I don't even have to spray it. I love it. It's amazing. It's so good. This fragrance I love to wear all the time. I wear it to church. I wear it going out for dinner. I wear it to a date night. I wear it for anything. Anything and everything. When I don't know what to wear, I wear this. You guys, this is amazing. I can't stress that enough. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. They say that this is a dupe for YSL Libre. I don't know. YSL Libre is a little too intense for me. I don't know. It smells a little different. I actually like this way more, to be honest. So the scent notes for Fairy Tale is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. You guys, oh, warm amber. This is just like the sexiest fragrance ever. I love it. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, that's how much I love it. But... If you ever smell Libre, it kind of smells like Libre. To me, this smells better. It's more sweeter, definitely. So pick you some fairy tale. This one's a good one. I also got the shower gel for that as well. That's what that looks like. And um, let's see. I also picked up this um, pumpkin cupcake. So this is what it looks like, super cute, pumpkin cupcake. The notes to this one is Wilt Buttercream Pumpkin Spice Vanilla Cake Batter. So I saw this and I was like, you know what, because I'm not too much into like the bakery stuff, I was, but then my scent notes, like seriously, I don't know what it was, it changed. And I got rid of a lot of my like, what was it? Um, the, the one that smells like cookies. Christmas cookies. I had the... What was the other one? Oh my goodness. Everybody loves that one. Cupcake something. I don't know. But I had some other ones. I'm just drawing a blank right now. Because I'm trying to film this really quickly for you guys. But my daughter, she likes a lot of the other scents and stuff like that she likes the bakery stuff i don't really like it so much but since i saw it said pumpkin i do like pumpkin so i wanted to test this one out let's see what this one smells like um i had the pumpkin pecan waffles that one i loved oh hold on oh i like this one Mmm, this smells like a mixture of like a pumpkin 
and carrot cake with cinnamon. That's what it smells like to me. Oh my gosh. Mmm, I like this. I don't know if I would want to smell like this all the time, but this smells really good. Oh, I like this one. This smells really good. If it's still available, go check this one out. Because again, I purchased this a while back. So I'm not sure if it's still available. Maybe online. Um, maybe it's an online exclusive. I'm not sure. But go check it out. And then I also got the shower gel to that one to pair it up. And I'm glad I did because this smells really, really good. So the next one I'm going to show you guys, which was the set that came in, was uh, Midnight Amber Glow. So I got the mist, and this is what it looks like, Midnight Amber Glow. I also got it in the body cream, and then I also got it in the shower gel. Um, I'm not too much of a body cream kind of girl. I have a lot of body creams, but I did trade them in because I realized that I don't go through my body creams like that, so I don't want them to uh, spoil up too quickly. So I'm more of a body mist and shower gel kind of girl. If I buy a body cream, it's either because it's free. Well, technically, if it's free, I didn't buy it, right? All right. Or it came in a set. So that's when you'll see me have body creams. I still do have some for like some fragrances that I really do like. But um, typically, I'm not like, okay, yeah, I'm going to get the body cream too. Yes, hence the body cream is more fragrant than the lotions. But at the same time, the lotions last longer than these. These will last you maybe like about six months. If you're lucky, maybe eight or so before it starts turning. Especially if it has vanilla in it, forget it. But anyway, the set notes to this is smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, okay. And it was a set that came with you order whatever, and this was like a set that you got for free. So I ordered a loofah. Yes, I did. I ordered a loofah. Yeah, it was like about $4.50. And it's really nice and fluffy. I love it. It's so cute. So I got a loofah. So I, yeah, since I got this, I was like, you know what? I need the shower gel to it. It makes sense. So since I'm getting this for free, let me just buy the shower gel, right? So that's what I did. I bought the shower gel. And that's what it looks like. This packaging is super pretty. It looks so comforting. It looks so winter-esque, right? Really pretty. It reminds me of coffee. Like a latte. A really pretty coffee. So I want to smell this. I haven't really, um... Smell this. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. I heard a lot of people didn't really like this one. I don't know why, because it's actually really nice. I'm not I'm not mad at it at all, actually. Yeah. This smells nice. It's very um Perfumey. Um, I don't really smell like caramel. I smell the sweetness. Maybe that's from the caramel and the vanilla. The bourbon, like, slightly boozy. Very lightly. And I smell amber. So this one is very nice. And it's not a sickening amber. Amber could be very, like, ugh. But this one? I like it. Very nice. I'm kind of glad that I got this for free. So, thank you. All right. Now, let's move on to the bag. Let's move on to the bag. So, these are the more newer fragrances that have recently just came out. I'm going to start with um, this one. This one is White Pumpkin Chai. So, this one had come out a few times before in like different packaging so now they have it in the faceted um bottle which looks really cute i like it um i always like the faceted collections i feel like it looks more expensive i guess very cute so i got the pumpkin and white pumpkin and chai with um the shower gel and the lotion because i remember smelling this before and i really 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 like this one but then I didn't pick it up. I don't I don't know why, but 
this time I did. So the set notes to this one is cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, vanilla glaze. Ooh, vanilla. Yeah. You get that cinnamon, the vanilla glaze. I smell that too. It's not really heavy in pumpkin though. I smell the pumpkin, but it's not like um, pumpkin latte type of pumpkin. It's nice. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's very nice. I gotta keep wearing this to see if I'm gonna like it. If not, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna trade it in for something else. But this one is nice, it's not terrible. I gotta play with it. I gotta, I gotta be in the mood, I feel like, to wear this one. So that's that. Next one that I got, um, that when it came out, I kinda like missed out on it. I didn't really get anything, but they still have it out. But soon, I'm pretty sure they're gonna um, put this one away because we're already in fall. And this is more like a spring, I feel like, scent. And I got the Poppy, the famous Poppy, okay? So they have this also shower gel, lotion, body wash, um, moisturizing um, body wash. I think they also have this in a scrub and a body butter as well. And I don't know if they have it in a shipper list or something. But this one was like, like one of the lines that they put like everything out with it. So this is so pretty. This one, I wasn't too sure whether I should have gotten it or whatever because they said it smelled very similar to another um, Bath & Body Works scent, but I wanted to see for myself, and I honestly think it smells different. But So this one has um, notes of fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugar, rhubarb, and juicy pear. So I love florals like you know. Mm. Mm hmm you smell that pear in here yes you smell juicy pear in here mm, it's like a sweet soft floral oh I love it it's so girly I like that dewy morning it's It has a freshness to it because I think of the flowers. Of course, when you smell flowers, it's, it gives off like a fresh scent. But dewy morning, I wouldn't... There's other scents that smell really dewy. Like you can... It smells like a morning dew or like, you know, very like grassy and earthy. But this one, very sweet, very floral, very girly. I really do like this one. And you definitely smell the pear in this one. It's really nice. This is a very pretty scent. Um, I probably should have got the shower gel to this, but I didn't. But I really do like this one. This one's nice. Okay, now, this one, y'all. This one, okay. It was funny because I was walking around the store. This one's Ivory Cashmere, by the way. I was walking around the store and uh, a worker that worked there was asking me, hey, do you need help? you know, whatnot. And I was like, ah, no, not really. You know, I have a lot of Bath & Body Works um, fragrances in my house, so I kind of know more or less what I like. Nah. And then I'm just walking around, and then she just started talking to me, and then she goes, oh, hey, you need to try this one, the Ivory Cashmere. I was like, mm, I'm not really that into cashmere, so I don't know. Cashmere notes, I'm just mm, not a fan, right? She goes, oh, but just try it. This is one of my favorites. I said, okay, fine. Okay. I sprayed it. Y'all, this is my favorite. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. This smells bomb. I love it. I love it. So the notes for Ivory Cashmere is fresh lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. Again, I'm getting notes with the amber here with my fragrances lately. And I told you guys before, I don't like amber, but apparently I do. Apparently I do. This one, you guys. Oh my goodness, like, mm. oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh, this I can just envision wearing like a really 
fluffy, cozy sweater. Oh, this just smells so good. This is the type of scent that if somebody passes by you, it will linger and they would just smell you. And they're like, wow, you smell good. This one, oh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. It's lightly musky. The amber is very soft in this one, which is great. Yep. Lakeside Air. Hmm. There is a freshness to it, but it's not like, like, you know, saying Lakeside Air, I don't picture Lakeside Air. You know what I mean? Oh, it's so good, man. This is really good. Get this one. I didn't find the, they didn't have the lotion to it. I would have got the whole set. I would have got the lotion, the shower gel and everything to it, but they just had the mist and I was just super sad. I was like, no, but I picked it up anyway. And I really do like this one. This one's a keeper. Ivory cashmere. You heard it here. Okay. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Let me stop. All right. Anyway, last but not least, this is one that everyone is talking about. People are talking about it on TikTok. I'm hearing it on Instagram. I'm hearing it everywhere. And I was like, you know what? I need to pick it up. I got to see what this is all about. Okay. So this one here, I got it in the shower gel and the lotion. Let me just put my bag down. Hold up. This one's called Fall in Bloom. Okay. Look how pretty the packaging is. Very pretty. Beautiful. So, I got it in the shower gel. It just looks like this. And I got it in the lotion. Again, the scent got to be real good for me to get the whole set, right? Of course. Before, I would just get the whole set. And that was that, you know, that was just me. I would get the, the spray, the lotion, and the, and the shower gel. That was a huge mistake that I did because my collection had gotten super big for no reason because a lot of the stuff I didn't even use. But we're changing that. If I really, really like it, I'll get the whole set and then I'll get like, you know, doubles or, you know, triple, whatever of the sprays of that. So that's that. I got them in there. But you guys, this one, I'm hearing is a dupe for Burberry Her. Everybody keeps talking about it. Everybody's saying, oh, this is like a spot on dupe. Oh, this smells just like it and whatever that is, right? I was just like, huh? Burberry Her? Okay. Because I'm not spending no over $100 or whatnot right now. Because I will get that perfume because it smells good. But you know what? I was like, hmm, and Bath and Body Works? Let me see what, what you're talking about. So I bought it. And the notes for and the notes for fall and bloom are juicy plum, wild blooms, velvet moss. I was like, what? Velvet moss. But you guys, it smells it to me. This smells like Burberry hair. Again, I've smelled Burberry hair before. Right? But there's a perfume that's even closer than this to me, to Burberry Hair. The initial spray, yes, it smells like Burberry Hair, but the after, it doesn't. So it's all right, but I'm going to keep playing with it and I'll let you know. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what's your favorite Bath & Body Works fragrance. So I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.